Walt just had a big heart. He loved people, he loved life. He was very funny, very witty, very positive, fun to be around. Uh, made everybody feel good about themselves. Our family doesn't see disability as something that is negative. We see it as a possibility. And when my son Walt was born with Down syndrome, we started getting involved with a lot of the organizations in Tuscaloosa. Walt started the Rise Center at seven weeks old. Made such a difference in his life. The teachers were wonderful. And then my mother got very involved with fundraising there. The building that we're in now, the facilities we're in, would not be here if it wasn't for Walt's family. They have just been tirelessly working to make sure that RISE remained on the University of Alabama campus all these years. Then they started the leadership board, which allowed us to hire adults with disabilities. They also made sure that the leadership of the university was aware of how important this program was to people. Just talking about it, sharing our mission, and just at every turn, just trying to get more and more supporters and people in the community to rally around what we do. A lot of people now are moving to Tuscaloosa because of the Rise Center, so it's a wonderful, wonderful school, and Tuscaloosa is very blessed to have it. Walt was in a transition class in the Tuscaloosa City School System when Crossing Points was started, so we were very fortunate to be in the first class of Crossing Points. So the Crossing Points program is a transition program uh, that serves young adults with intellectual disabilities. We emphasized a lot, worked a lot on the employment training skills. We found that they were really excellent workers. They learned the skills, they were able to utilize those skills for employment. However, if any of them were qualified to apply for a position at the University of Alabama, they never could. The Garris helped in connecting our issue with the appropriate people on this campus and President Waite created a category within HR that allowed an otherwise qualified Crossing Points graduate to be able to apply for a position at the University of Alabama. As a result of Crossing Points, Walt ended up with a job at the soup store in the Ferguson Center on campus and worked there 15 years and he just loved going to work. He would say, well, I've got to go. They can't do it without me. There are several other students who have come since then that have been employed on this campus because of the infrastructure that was laid through the works and efforts of the Gary family. We're still actively involved as a family with Crossing Points. There's a golf tournament every year that's named after my mother that raises money for the salaries that the students get from their training on the job sites on the campus. And so we're very involved with that and have enjoyed working with that for many years. There are young men and women with disabilities on this, um, in this community that are where they are because of the groundwork and the investments in people that the Gary family has made to Crossing Points. Tuscaloosa is very, very blessed and fortunate to have all the facilities and the programs to support children with special needs. And so we're just thankful that we were in Tuscaloosa when Walt was born. You know, I'm so fortunate I work at a place where we see children and families every day that struggle. And so every day we need to think about how fortunate we are, how we can make a difference in the lives of other people, how being positive and just being friendly and just being caring is just such a great way to live. Every year at RISE, we pick a theme for the year, our teachers and our staff do, and this year we picked Be Like Walt, and that's what our staff is striving to be. We're striving to be enthusiastic, positive, caring about each other, you know, persevering during difficult times, and I think that's just Walt in a nutshell, and that's what everybody loved. We have seen the community care so for our son and our family, and we just want to give back and care for others. Walt's family has brought in people to believe and care about the causes for young people with disabilities that they believe and care for. I think if there were more people like the Gary family and the Shirley family, programs around the country could benefit from that kindness and generosity. I would encourage people to put care into action in their communities by finding something that they are passionate about. We ended up being passionate about things that were 
connected with special needs because of our son. But uh, everybody has something that they're passionate about, that they have a heart for, and it's just a matter of volunteering and helping others. If I were to say anything to the Gary family, I would want to thank them. Thank you for the ways that you have shown how to embody caring. On behalf of the families that come to RISE, on behalf of the staff, on behalf of families that have children with special needs and traditional learners, thank you. Thank you for raising such an incredible son that has impacted us in so many ways and has given us hope and inspiration and has also inspired us to be better than we can be. We are following the Be Like Walt this year and I believe it'll be the best year ever at RISE. It's unbelievable how God has used someone born in 1983 with Down syndrome to impact all these people. It's just been amazing and we've just been overwhelmed with the people we're hearing from and the support.